In our last episode of La Maison, we put the spotlight on the current king of diamonds, Lawrence Graff. But before him was the original bearer of that title, Harry Winston. Born in 1896, Harry Winston was exposed to jewels early in his life as he worked in his father's small jewelry shop. It was in this shop that he developed a keen eye for quality gems. Little wonder that when he was 12, he recognized a two-carat emerald in a pawn shop and bought it for 25 cents only for him to sell it two days later for $800. By 1920, he started his jewelry business and opened his first store in New York City in 1932. In 1947, Cosmopolitan magazine restored Harry Winston with a moniker that would follow him throughout his career, King of Diamonds. Perhaps, this was due to the dozens of historical gemstones that passed through his hands or that he was most certainly the purveyor of the world's most exceptional jewels. Regardless of which, Winston was crowned king and his vast portfolio of discerning clientele agreed. Harry Winston's obsession with beautiful gemstones led him around the world in search of the very best and many times they were steeped in historical provenance from the hope diamond to the john car and the queen marie of romania sapphire he had a knack for special stones and they all too often found their way to him let's take a quick travel through time to discover some of these remarkable gems The Hope Diamond is one of history's most fabulous diamonds. Coming in at 45.52 carats, the fancy deep grayish blue diamond has an incomparable history. It has intersected with the French monarchy, Kings Louis XIV through XVI, and likely the British monarch, King George IV. It has also been owned by wealthy merchants and some of the most well-known jewelers including Cartier and Harry Winston. In 1949, Harry Winston purchased the stone, touring it for several years until he donated the Hope Diamond to the Smithsonian Institution in 1958, where it's on permanent exhibition. In 1934, after a heavy rain, a 726 carat rough was discovered in South Africa, named the John Carr, in honor of the miner who discovered it. The diamond made international headlines and quickly caught the attention of Mr. Winston. The following year, the John Carr made headlines once again when Mr. Winston outbid his competition to acquire the rough. He was so proud of his latest acquisition that upon arrival in the United States, the Junker was set on a press tour, including a highly publicized photo shoot with actress Shirley Temple. The Queen Mary of Romania Sapphire is a 478.68 carat cornflower blue cushion cut cilion sapphire, named for its association with its first owner. Mary of Edinburgh, Queen of Romania. After the fall of the Romanian monarchy in 1947, the pendant was sold to Harry Winston, who then sold it to a wealthy Greek citizen who presented it to Queen Fredricia of Greece. It went under the hammer in 2003 via Christie's as the property of a noble family, bringing in over 1.9 million Swiss francs. Back then, the gem was the largest sapphire ever sold at auction. It was bought by a private collector. The Winston Blue is a flawless fancy vivid blue diamond weighing 13.22 carats. It was purchased by Harry Winston Inc. in 2014 for $23.8 million via Christie's. For the auction, 
the diamond was dubbed the blue. The name Winston Blue was given to it by Naila Hayek, who is the CEO of Harry Winston Inc. Mined in South Africa around 1918, this pink diamond was once owned by the Oppenheimer family of the Bears. It has a cut-cornered rectangular cut and has likely not been altered since it was first cut in 1920. In 2018, it was purchased by Harry Winston Inc. for $50 million via Christie's. Originally called the Pink Legacy, this 18.96 carat fancy vivid pink diamond was renamed the Winston Pink Legacy. It is mounted in a platinum ring and are scented with delicate shield cut colorless diamond side stones. In 2013, the house of Harry Winston acquired a perfect 101.73 carat pear shaped diamond for nearly $27 million. A stone so exquisite and rare, it was called the Winston Legacy. At the time, it was described by Christine's auction house as the most perfect diamond ever offered for sale at auction. The flawless, colorless Winston Legacy underscores the house's continued commitment to rare jewels of the world. Other than the King of Diamonds, Harry Winston was also known as the jeweler to the stars. He started dressing celebrities as early as 1935, the year he purchased the 726 carat diamond, the John Carr. Ever since, the brand has gone on to adorn scores of celebs on the red carpet, from Madonna to Jennifer Lopez, Jessica Alba to Elizabeth Taylor. It's almost impossible for this brand to be absent from major red carpets. Beyond the red carpet, the brand has also made its way into the silver screen. For instance, movies like How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days stars Harry Winston Diamonds, making the brand a prominent sharer in generations of cinema magic. In the 1953 musical film, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, the song Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend includes a spoken interjection Talk to me, Harry Winston. Tell me all about it. Now, how about I tell you about some of my favorite creations from the house of Harry Winston? Let's get started. Mrs. Winston is a cascading diamond necklace that hosts a total of 187.50 carats of high-quality white diamonds, most of which are pairs. These precious gems stream down from a diamond band into the middle of the item. Three large diamonds are placed at the bottom to add weight to the necklace and to highlight the tapered look of the jewelry piece. It comes with a matching bracelet of spectacular beauty. Described as an exceptional treasure of nature, a rare 43.10 carat royal blue cashmere sapphire is exquisitely set as the centerpiece of this one-of-a-kind high jewelry necklace. The world-renowned designers and artisans at Harry Winston highlight the stone's innate beauty with sparkling diamonds in a timeless pendant of pure magnificence. An enchanting composition of 47 rivulites surrounded by turquoise and diamonds, the Amalfi necklace features in Harry Winston's 2022 high jewelry collection, Majestic Escapes. It gives a nod to the Italian coast, its beautiful pink flowers and pristine waters. In 2017, 
Having Winston purchased the 18 plus carat Rockefeller Emerald for $5.5 million via Christie's. The Emerald had first been acquired by John D. Rockefeller Jr. in 1930. He purchased it then as a center stone for a brooch for his wife, Abby Rockefeller. Upon her death in 1948, the youngest son, David Rockefeller, inherited the Emerald. He turned to Raymond Yard to set the family gemstone in an updated design and the platinum ring was born. Harry Winston reset the superlative stone into a signature Harry Winston style design. The magnificent ring celebrates the house's dedication to impeccable clarity and unparalleled quality. The concept of the cluster now regarded as Harry Winston's signature technique, was formulated in the 1940s, comprising multi-cut diamonds set with minimal metal and at varying angles. The idea transformed jewelry design to create clusters of remarkable brilliance. This rendition features a necklace of 32.99 carats, a secret bracelet of 34.38 carats, and earrings that weigh 14.72 carats. Well, there you have it my humble exploration of the mesmerizing world of Harry Winston that has enthralled savvy collectors for decades. Which pieces in the video are your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.